We are Chris and Jen, and we are on a journey. We are full-time RVers from Pennsylvania, learning how to live on the road while exploring the outdoors and the history of America. Join in at To Wander Freely. So we are at the McDonald Observatory, uh, which is just outside of Fort Davis in Texas. And we're doing, we're, right now we're doing the self-guided tour. And they have the main visitor center at the lower part of the mountain. And then we just drove up to the summit of Bolts Mountain. And we're in an enclosure right now that is Hobby Eberly Telescope. And it's a, it's a really different type of telescope. I looked in there and I'm trying to get my bearings and see what exactly going on. It's got an 11 meter ref reflective mirror um, that is somehow used as all part of it and it's about I've overheard some of this stuff it can do like 85% of what a normal telescope can do but it costs about 15% of what some of these massive telescopes are which actually I think they have one of the really big major ones here um, on the adjacent mountain that we're gonna go see but um, so yeah so this is where we're starting Hey, so just to give a shout out to Penn State, um, we came in the gallery, we're still at the Hobby Eberly um, Telescope. It actually, it turns out that the inventors of the concept of this telescope were from Penn State, which is pretty cool. We are. <laughs> Penn State. <laughs> Here is a view of the outside of the Hobby Eberly Telescope enclosure. The next stop on the self-guided tour takes you to Mount Locke where you can see the Harlan J. Smith Telescope which has a small room with informative boards and videos on everything to do with the observatory. Also on Mount Locke is the Otto Struve Telescope which was the first large telescope built at the observatory. And while you're on top of these mountains checking out the telescopes be sure to look around and enjoy the magnificent views. That sums up the stops on the free self-guided tour, but you can explore as much as you want as various guided tours are offered at varying fees. So we, it's a little dark if you haven't noticed. We finished up our time at the observatory today by, um, we just did the self-guided tour. So what we did do while we were at the observatory today is to purchase tickets for tonight and right now we're actually headed back up into the mountains to see um, for the star party. Star party! <laughs> and the good news is it's a clear night. There's only a few, very few clouds out. So um, we're headed back up to see what they have to offer. Uh, it's a two hour long program. At this time of year, it starts at 9.30, so it's gonna be from 9.30 to 11.30, and they're going to explain, show us the night skies, and um, they have several people there. You, I did ask, you don't get to look through some of the really cool big telescopes, but they do have some larger ones. I think they, what was the largest? The biggest one that we'll get to look through is up to like 24 inch diameter, so for she and I, I mean, that, that's big. So 24 inch diameter yeah. is what we're going to get to look through tonight. They do offer this program three times a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday night. Um, and you have to buy your tickets online. So even though we were at the observatory, the visitor center today, when we did it, they actually just had us go to a computer right there and do it. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess it was to free them up. But what was odd is they have a worker sitting there staring at you while you do <laughs> you fumble around with the iPad, but anyway. Right, I know. <laughs> so that's the way that goes. But, so we're looking forward to it, and we'll let you know how it went when we get back. And I will show you what the road looks like a little bit here. It's really getting dark now, but you can s still see a little bit of light and hopefully some of the mountains here. And we are on our way. <laughs> 